You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. than a job and send <laughs> be gone by now I said usually but it'll still be all right do you see her desk behind me the key is in the drawer of that desk now here's what we're going to do I'll create a distraction to draw her away you focus on getting the key I'll meet you outside of the restricted section you distract I get the key understood I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Wasn't so difficult after all. Now to find that book. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say.
should be in the clip. There's nothing you want us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. Shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves! I've got to stop him, or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Revelio. Surprising. Guards at the ready. Incendio. 
Incendio. Protego. Accio. Incendio. This must be the way forward, but to where?
Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> Revelio. Cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. 
Oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. surprised by how much you can learn from that as well. Dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. What are you up to now? Future champion! 
Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of Cross Wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there.
I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honour to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. It's been an honour. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Yes. me. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. may save your life one day. If only a new student would help me with my sad predicament. <sighs> Revelio. Black 
Revelio. Levioso. Revelio. Sent me a howler. Made any progress with your treasure map? Without a doubt, one of the most Master in the history of Hogwarts. He's not behind me, is he? I've heard that Isaac Cooper receives several hours a week from secret admirers. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before. Professor Black glanced at me the other day in the Great Hall. I spit up. I don't think a single student likes Professor Black. They may pretend to like him, but they don't. Really mastered that one, haven't you? Let me go. I can't believe Black is still the headmaster. He obviously hates the job. It's not like he's short a few galleons. How much longer do you think Black will be headmaster? I have family in America. wonder if I could transfer to Ilvermorny and come back when he's gone. Professor Black was terrible before he decided to cancel Quidditch. That decision was the icing on the cauldron cake, if you ask me. It's about time Hogwarts put someone like Black in charge. Perhaps now we can stop all these disgusting mudbloods from ruining the school. Good thing Professor Weasley takes her role seriously, since Black clearly has no interest in his. I wish they'd let Ronan teach the entire curriculum. Charms is the only class I can stay awake for. Madame Kokow is getting a bit of an easy run of things, isn't she? What with Quidditch being cancelled. Sometimes I'm not fully sure if Ronan's teaching us a spell or having a
Revelio. It's the fountain. I'm getting closer. Revelio. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? The stairwell looks promising. This looks like the portrait from the map. And where's the treasure? Revelio. <laughs> Incendio. <laughs> Send you.
Revelio. Revelio. Repair. Accio. Accio. Uh -huh. There was a doorway hidden within the portrait. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Everything are in the restricted section. What have you learnt? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky. Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round we... anything interesting. Revelio.
Revelio. Growing pungent onion again. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here, you'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio! Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like... Yes, dogs. Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. 
wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers fancy, or roses? Italy's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient... Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Dittany seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. Done. Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. 
Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put some... Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Look at that! Don't want them anything they can get their mouths on. Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clock. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pot.
cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the Ministry guard? Professor Black would never allow that. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required... Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will... I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I... I'll get you the Fwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Remember, precision. <laughs> Your potion stations organized and free of clutter. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. And now we add the Mallow Sweet, and that's odd. 
What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Mr. Weasley. Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learnt a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was sceptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. My Wiganwell potions utter. Ugh, my robes are going to reek from Gary. Is it two inches of Angelica or three? <laughs> This looks intriguing. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well. But I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you.
They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibililand. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? Can I teach you for some assistance? Uh. They must have come this way! Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be such... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid <laughs> the light go out of your eyes. happened. I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. 
Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if the Mallow Sweet is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. Protego! I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendium! Merlin's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? 
Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Greetings, young Slytherin. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Fink. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what...